My work deals with the intersections of art and science, and my art practice has taken me to do research at Harvard Center for Astrophysics, as well as the neuroscience program at National Institute of Health. And I use my work as a way of creating a bridge and making science poetic. What's very exciting for me working at the McCall Center on this project with the Levine's Children's Hospital is it's enabling me to take all the rich research that I've done in neuroscience for my artwork and use it in a more translational way that can enhance their healing. I'm working with a 17th century scientific technique called cymatics, which literally changes sound waves into visualization. And the idea is to let these patients see that their voices, even though they might sound different, are quite beautiful when you're putting that visualization out into the universe. And to further develop this, I had each of the patients and their caregivers create collaboratively a blown breath painting in which they use their breath to literally create a painting. The main structure of it symbolizes the tree of life. It also represents the fractal form of a neuron, so that relates to the notion of a patient that might be suffering with brain injury. And each one of the larger circles represents one of the patients and their cymatic voice visualization, as well as smaller cymatic circles that represent the voices of two of their caregivers. One of the most remarkable things for me as an artist is you can come up with an idea, but you never know how it's gonna actually manifest. What I originally thought would be something that would be very emotionally difficult for me to do turned out to be something that was full of hope and inspiration and transformation. And to watch these young patients be able to blow into existence basically the history at a certain level using their breath of their healing process was something that I will never forget and really made me realize the extraordinary power to heal.